If you're interested in how cinematic shots are planned and brought to life, this video will give you a practical look at that process. Today we're exploring Higgsfield Cinema Studio, a creator-first workflow designed to help turn a single frame into a polished cinematic shot. Cinema Studio takes a structured approach to AI video creation. Instead of starting with motion right away, it begins with a carefully designed image and then extends that frame into video using intentional camera movement, lens choices, and composition. This helps maintain visual consistency while keeping the workflow simple and controlled. In this video, I'll walk you through the Cinema Studio process step-by-step. Step. We'll create a cinematic frame, convert it into video, and explore how different creative choices shape the final result. All I will do inside Higgsfield Cinema Studio. Let's get started. You'll find the Higgsfield AI link in the video description. Once you open the website, the first thing you'll notice is that Higgsfield AI is not a single purpose tool. It's a complete creative platform with multiple sections designed for different stages of content creation like image, video, edit, character, in paint, cinema studio, and more. Once you click on cinema studio, you'll notice that it allows you to create 21 by nine cinematic aspect ratio images which is commonly used in films. It also gives you creative control over camera type, lens choice, focal length, and camera movement, all from a simple interface. Now let's create our first cinematic image from scratch. I'll start by typing a simple prompt, a cinematic Hollywood-style scene of a man walking on a green forest path, dramatic lighting, movie-like quality. Below the prompt box, you'll see an option to choose how many images you want to generate at once. You can generate up to four images in a single batch, but for this demo, I'll stick to just one. Next, you'll see the resolution settings. You can choose between 1K, 2K, or 4K. I prefer quality over processing time, so I'll select 4K resolution for good detail. By the way, you can also upload a reference image if you have one using the plus icon over here. Now comes one of the interesting parts, the cinematic controls. Just beside the generate button, you'll see the camera settings. Higgsfield gives you access to cinema-style cameras, such as Sony Venice, IMAX film cameras, Arri Alexa 35, and more. For this example, I'll select Arri Alexa 35, which is widely known for its cinematic color science. Next, you can choose your lens. I'll go with the Zeiss Ultra Prime lens, which is known for its sharpness and clean cinematic look. For focal length, I'll set it to 24 millimeters, which works well for wide, immersive cinematic shots. Once all the settings are ready, simply click on Generate, and let's wait a few moments to see the result. But wait, if we are waiting for the results, why don't we create a few more images? So using the same prompt and setting, let's create four more images. All right, so as you can see, our images are now ready and they look very cinematic and beautiful. Now, when you hover over any generated image, Higgsfield Cinema Studio gives you multiple useful options. You can download the image, share it, or copy it. But more interestingly, you get four creative tools on each image, and this is where the workflow begins. The first option is multi-shot, which allows you to generate nine multiple cinematic angles of the same scene. This is very useful when you want different perspectives without recreating everything from scratch. Next is image reference, which helps you generate similar images while maintaining consistency. Then you have start frame and end frame, which lets you convert an image directly into a video. I really like this image, so I'm going to use it as my start frame. The moment I click on start frame, I'm taken straight into the video generation section. Now here, you'll notice that the video prompt is already filled in based on the image we created earlier, so I'm not going to change it. Instead, let's focus on the video controls. The first major option here is camera movement. Higgsfield Cinema Studio gives you multiple cinematic movements like static, handheld, zoom in, zoom out, dolly in, and dolly out. You don't need advanced filmmaking knowledge. You simply choose the movement you want. For this first video, I'm going to select a zoom in camera movement Next, you can set the video duration, depending on how long you want the shot to be. After that, you have the option to turn audio on or off. Audio adds more immersion, so I'll keep it enabled. There's also a slow motion option, which I'll show you separately in a moment. 
but for now, I'll keep it turned off. You can also choose how many video variations you want to generate at once, either one or multiple. For this example, I'll generate just one video. One important thing to keep in mind is that camera movement and end frame cannot be used together at the same time. Since I'm using a camera movement here, I'll skip the end frame option. Once everything is set, all you need to do is click generate and wait a few moments. But before watching the results, let's play a little more around it. All right, as you can see, our videos have been generated. So let's take a look on them one by one. So as you just saw, this entire workflow is built with creators in mind. You don't need filmmaking experience, complex setups, or heavy editing to create shots that feel cinematic and intentional. Everything happens in one focus flow, from a single image to a finished video, with full control over camera movement, framing, and mood. If you want to explore this yourself, you'll find the link to Higgsfield Cinema Studio in the description. Feel free to try it out and experiment with different styles and camera movements. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.